Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to episode 9 of Elder Scrolls Blade. I just love that Warhammer, look at it. Flashing lightning and all that. I don't think I mentioned this before but it does look like a zoom from Flash. Uh, you know the TV series, uh, I think it was second season or, or, or third season, Zoom was an excellent villain, I think, and it had that awesome uh, bluish lightning glow all the time. So today we are going to do um, the quest, The Name of Evil. I have to go back into the uh, tunnels underground and the underground tunnels beneath the city and um, investigate the tomb uh, further on. Remember that uh, when we reached the end of the tomb, there was a door, still looked like interactable, but nothing happened. So it looks like uh, Sashi found a way to access that tomb, and now we are going to see what kind of secrets it holds. This means more skeletons, more zombies. And I don't know what else, maybe a boss fight. Maybe a mummy. Oh look, there's Sashi. Stumbled upon a door and seemed to have found a whole other section to the tomb. Okay, yeah. This is the entrance. We arrived at the end. The end. And I don't know what that means. Yeah, I'm definitely ready. My hammer is definitely ready. Ready to smash some skulls. Let's see what we have here. Uh-oh. What was that? Oh, zombie! Damn it. <laughs> okay, so uh, somebody suggested that uh, that uh, the zombies and skeletons have physical damage resistance. That is true, but my previous mace had uh, piercing damage, I believe. So kind of nullifying the resist. But this, uh, this Warhammer has almost double the damage and is way more powerful. Also has lightning strikes. Or maybe the resist I'm seeing is from the lightning immunity, I believe. Are, are zombies and skeletons immune to lightning? That could be it. I mean, they could be uh, have fire weakness. Oh look, a skeleton. Two of them. One of them came charging. Aha! Wow, <laughs> just two hits and that head flew clean off. <laughs> There's no stopping the mighty Warhammer. Let's get some cheese. Break some vases, more wood. We need a lot of. What is that? Fabric. We need all the resources to start building more stuff in our town. And so far, all the jobs and all the crap I've been uh, running only give salts and God knows what else, garlic. I think those are for potions. But I need, uh, I need building material. I need limestone. That's uh, that's something that I'm uh, short of. And you need a lot of limestone and a lot of wood. But wood seems to be popping out from every other crate. Itsy bitsy spider went into a wall and died. More spiders. More spiderlings. Ah! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> I remember that, that vine that, uh, that guy used to make. Surprise, motherfucker! Surprise, motherfucker! Disguise, motherfucker! <laughs> Sorry, my bad language, but I really remember that one. Makes me laugh any, every time I watch it. He's using uh, cool costumes in every in every scene. <laughs> More salt. We also need to find a secret. Haven't found a secret yet. Look, a skeleton. No, it's a zombie. Ouch, I raised my guard too early and my hammer dropped. 
Wow, <laughs> one HP. <laughs> Hero zombie. <laughs> Eat my hammer. The Nords will reclaim Skyrim. I just level up. That's awesome. I keep leveling up a lot. Probably because I'm doing a lot of uh, a lot of jobs and a lot of quests. And I think that's good because it offers me a fighting chance because I haven't uh, invested anything uh, yet in this game. I haven't bought any uh, gems or packs or um, elder chests or whatever. So I have no epics, no legendaries, no um, artifacts. I think those are the uh, the orange ones. The yellow ones are the legendaries. The the uh, the epics are the uh, are the purple ones, just like in Legends, guys. So I only have green stuff on me. I used to have a uh, a rare shield, the one that offered a lot of protection. It was leather, had a lot of defense and a lot of protection against piercing damage and against I think lightning. Okay, we found a secret. What's that? Limestone. Yes. More stuff to collect. Yeah, so I had to... Um, I, I think I still have the shield in, uh, in my inventory. I haven't traded it yet. Or disassembled it. But now with a two-handed weapon, I cannot use a uh, shield anymore. But there's so much damage compensation. It used to, I used to have to chain uh, like five or six blows to uh, to destroy an NPC. Now that's just like two or three. Wow! <laughs> Off with your head. Actually, uh, it's, I think it's. Up, uh, pretty rare to, to blow some someone's head clean off with a warhammer. Has no blade. It's just a blunt weapon. Give it enough force. It's just like a 50 caliber. You only need one shot, and whoop, there goes your arm or your head. I remember those scenes from Rambo 4. The scene, <laughs> the scene when he goes on top of that. Uh, uh, semi and starts using that 50 cal. Good god, the slaughter. So that's uh, that's the quest item I'm supposed to find. Ancient stone tablets. Seeds and lesser soul gem. I think soul gem is uh, material used for enchanting weapons, but uh, I'm unable to build the enchantry yet. Yeah, I'm back. Found these inscribed stone tablets. I'll give them to you for a price. Joking. We'll begin deciphering them right away. Well, you better. Because I'm hungry for more quests. In time, could ask the town elder if he needs anything. Junius is too proud to ask for help. Hmm. Okay. We'll just talk to Junius and see what uh, what he has in store for us. The city is still a bit empty. I uh, haven't found uh, many decorations and uh, materials to build houses and stuff. Um, so the next quest will be the Bloodfall Queen. Uh, talking to the uh, queen that tried to sack my city. And hopefully we'll get something out of her. Until next time, guys. I salute you. Cheers. Cheers.